rigorous, rigorous, hey. rigorous. Can't get him looking rigorous. My champagne, but I'm rigorous. My campaign looking rigorous. Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. Hairstyle so rigorous. Your top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous, 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 rigorous. Me and my niggas is rigorous. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to Mombanza. Today is day three of comic-con africa that's where me and my fiance are about to head to we woke up nice and early gonna get there have some fun have a fun couple of hours and then and then say goodbye uh and it really hurts because we wait an entire year for this convention to happen and then it's done just like this this vlog is really really exciting because we have some news for you right at the end of the vlog wait how am i gonna do this wait 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 okay we have some really big news for you guys coming at the end of this vlog because today today the day that i post this vlog is a very big day for myself and my partner but we'll talk more about that after comic con for now i have to go uh we have to leave in the next three minutes to make it on time we're going to disney plus to the uh agatha uh, all along activation we are also going to be doing an instagram takeover on telcom's instagram page where i will be giving away a whole entire xbox series x i love my job guys i love my job at which job do they allow you to give away Xboxes and tickets to conventions and stuff? I, I have a great job. Okay, we need to go. What up homies? I don't know if you can actually hear me because it is so loud inside Comic Con, but we have uh, made it inside. I'm about to do some work right now with Disney Plus. That's where we are. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but uh, yeah, I'm about to do some work for Disney Plus. Miss Mamas is over here. She looks good, full outfit and everything. Look at the red bob, okay? Um, but yeah, we're really excited. We're gonna get some work done and then I'm actually gonna get to, you know, enjoy myself and experience it like everybody else. Everybody gets to come here and just enjoy themselves. I come here and I spun, but then I get to enjoy myself. So I'm pretty keen for that too. excited because we've been gone the whole day we usually don't leave her by herself we are back home from comic-con day three i still have one more day of comic-con i am exhausted it has been an incredibly long day um i'm just gonna relax now man united is playing um and then i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my saturday before tomorrow i have a full sunday from 8 a.m till the evening until we are done but um if anything uh, I think I can tell you guys this. Enzo, I'm busy. Look at, she wants to play ball. Anyway, I feel like I can tell you guys this now, but uh, we are shooting season four of my TV show, V Enzo, stop, bro. She wants to play and I don't have energy right now. Don't look at me like I'm mean. Don't give me that look, bro. I don't want to play right now. I'm really tired. All right, where was I? Uh, we are shooting VS Gaming Season 4. We got a Season 4. We are back. Remember when I was worried about only having a Season 1? We are literally on Season 4 now. Uh, we should be shooting the first episode while I am still uh, doing this vlog. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're shooting an episode of VS Gaming. And then uh, during the week, we'll actually properly start in studio and everything. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for us to get our show back on the road. When you do TV, guys, it's so terrifying, man. Like the last time we shot this show was, I don't know, this time last year. Yeah, pretty much this time last year. And um, which basically means that we've been waiting a year to find out if we are shooting again. Imagine you went to work for a month and then you had to wait to hear if you still have a job. Like TV and entertainment, it's, it's just a, a completely different industry. Either way, I am really happy. I am really excited to be shooting a season four. I'm really excited to see all the crew again um, who've basically just, you know, become family to us. So 
yeah, I saw a couple of them today while we were at Comic Con. Everybody's like, hey, Sibu. I'm like, hey, our cameramen, our like content producers, and everyone. So I think everyone's very excited to get back into the studio. Anyway, that's it for my Saturday. I'm about to watch uh, Manchester United. Uh, hopefully, we win this game. I don't even know who we're playing against. I've been so busy. All I know is that we do have a game that's playing in the next 30 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I will see you guys tomorrow or during the week. It's very tough to vlog at Comic Con. It's so loud. There's people everywhere uh, and so that's why we didn't vlog all that much and that's why I probably won't vlog tomorrow but I will definitely see you guys on Monday or Tuesday uh, yeah for you it's gonna be in like one second <laughs> Good morning guys, uh, maybe I lied about only seeing you a couple of days after Comic Con. It is the last day of Comic Con today and uh, it is about 6 a.m. now um, and we've been called, George and I, to shoot an episode of our TV show uh, before Comic Con starts because we're using the stage uh, so we're shooting now at half past six before Comic Con starts so that we can get our show out the way before people start coming in so we'll be done by nine and hopefully that means that we can just enjoy Comic Con for the rest of the day and then come home for the last little bit of our weekend but uh, yeah get into TV they said become a TV presenter marry a TV presenter they said She's coming with me to, to work today because she's such a lovely, amazing, loyal wife, soon to be wife. So yeah, let's go to Comic Con, let's get some work done, let's make this money and then we'll come home to watch Manchester United hopefully win a game. friends uh, we are on a little bit of a break we have shot uh, a couple of scenes um, and now we're on a break until it gets more full here at comic-con so we can shoot the rest right now it is quarter to nine okay the time is very important why because Yolanda and I are walking around looking for <laughs> Cheetos at 9 a.m. she wants Cheetos but you know what what wifey wants wifey gets so we're gonna go look for Cheetos and see how it goes. Ah, oh, Sibum Panza! <laughs> how are you doing? Hey, my brother. Oh, good. Are you good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, Pelly Pit. Okay, uh, the battery's finishing because someone was shooting B roll earlier and they used up all the battery. But we're gonna go look for Cheetos and then uh, we'll show you guys. I'll go fetch the new battery and we'll show you guys the Cheetos that we found. Also, this is assuming we find them because Yolanda saw them last year. So she's assuming they're here again this year. 
we don't know we're gonna walk around all these halls and hopefully find it before i have to go back to work let's go that side the left Okay, let's go. We found the Cheetos. But it looks like a Korean brand. It is American. It's my cheese, isn't it? Ask them if they have that. Let's go and let's go and come back. If we don't find like oh, like walk around. Unfortunately, we did not find the Cheetos. We did find some Cheetos, but they weren't the ones that she actually wanted. We are now back in the car, just sitting for a little bit before I have to go back to work. Uh, and I'm going to leave this one to sit in the car. If she goes in. And that's true. People make you speak here at Comic Con. Everybody's bubbly, they're excited. They So she just wants to sit in the car for some downtime. Especially because you started talking to people at like 6 a.m., half past six, which is a wild time to start yapping. But um, such is life. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna leave you here. Okay, be safe. Don't get stolen. Don't drive the car. Okay, just because I left you with I it. I can drive, just by the I'm gonna leave that conversation there. What up homies, I'm sorry about the darkness, but um, I'm in my car right now. I'm still outside Comic-Con, uh, but I have a telephonic interview for my um, TV show. You know how uh, when a movie comes out, the actors in the movie, they will go on like a press run well tv presenters have to do something similar so right now i have an interview with yfm in about uh, five minutes where i'll be talking about comic-con i'll be talking about the tv show vs gaming um and all the stuff we have here at comic-con so that's what i have to do uh, otherwise our day is pretty much finished yolanda is still inside comic-con right now uh she's with sasha uh doing a walk Pardon me, doing a walk around um, and uh, George is busy working. I am wrapped for the day. George is the only one who still has scenes left. Um, so yeah, once I'm done with this interview, I'm going to call Yolanda to get in the car and then we are going home so that I can salvage the last bit of Sunday. I have had an amazing Comic Con, but I'm definitely ready to go relax because tomorrow's Monday. I've been working the whole weekend. I don't get a weekend, so... I'm hoping I can have a slow Monday, but uh, we'll have to see. For now, I'm gonna wait for that phone call. And, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of things at food and film and all of that. And uh, about now, coming from Nazareth, where I wish I was this afternoon. And uh, I'm sure it's amazing because today it is the last day, okay? Right about now, I am speaking to Cebu. Cebu, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited to be on the global experience, man. Finally, like, we've been waiting for you. Where have you been? <laughs> How could I, dude? Where have you been? We're at Comic Con, my brother. You know, I'm so bummed that I could not make it this year. I've been going for the past two years. Yeah. Uh, this year would have been the third year. And uh, obviously, we take the little one. And uh, yeah, man, it's just a blast for everybody. Yeah. You know? But lastly, man, can you share any special promos or prizes that the attendees can uh, look forward to? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, I, I am literally wearing some now. New Balance is uh, showcasing their, their merchandise here. I'm wearing it right now um, from the, the home of gaming. And if you come here, you stand a chance to win different vouchers, you know, up to 3,000 Rand. Plus, there is a trip to New York Comic Con. That's the main, 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 main big Comic Con. Um, and you can, you can possibly go there. I haven't been. I haven't even been and I want to. <laughs> Man, definitely that sounds so amazing man so yeah people can still get their tickets and uh, head on through to Nazrik and go check out Comic Con Sibu thank you very much brother. thank you for having me alright the time of your life is around the corner and this year we are dwelling it on the highest why and the captain of spice are and that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Now it is time for me to go home. My job here is done. My weekend is done. I have had fun. I have made money. Now I rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back from Comic-Con. I feel like you're a little bit too high. Let me just drop you just a little bit and then maybe you can just up. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you are so tall. I'm back from Comic-Con. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a Comic-Con haul right now. I've already changed my top. As you can see, I've got the blue man you top over here because we're playing in about an hour and a half and uh, hopefully we won't win because i've got some new merch speaking of merch okay we're doing a comic-con haul and the first thing that we're gonna do technically i didn't get it from comic-con 
If you're not up to date with the dealings of this channel, I have a TV show, it's called VS Gaming Weekly. It's a gaming and esports TV show with my best homie, OK Wasabi. We are the two presenters. Now, that show, one of the sponsors is New Balance. And so every time we're about to shoot a new season, we get new clothes. We're allowed to wear our old clothes, but they just top us up with some of the new stuff in stock and so today because we were shooting some parts of the episodes at comic-con they brought our box full of clothes and so that's what i'm going to show you guys is what we got i normally don't do this i don't think i've done a new balance haul since back then but anyway we're doing it now so the first one is a t-shirt i actually wore today it's like a cream shirt uh and it's got a i don't want to say gray i don't want to say blue it's like a teal new balance logo over there can you see that there we go that's a new balance logo it doesn't have anything in the back all of these are like kind of oversized tops because this is a medium but it's massive it like comes down to um the bottom of my sleeves that is t-shirt number one this is a t-shirt number two i also wore this today it's a black t-shirt and it's got a peach it's not necessarily pink it's more peach it might look pink in this but it's like a peach new balance logo and then the back looks really really dope i'm a big fan of this t-shirt i wore it today uh it was one of the first ones that i picked out also because it's black i love black this is also yeah my size is medium but these are all oversized i really really love this t-shirt so i'm gonna try not to overdo it um and wear it in every single video but i'm a big fan of this guy what else do we have <laughs> We got another t-shirt. See, it even says my name. Do you see? Oh, that. Does it say your name? Yeah, not the t-shirt doesn't say my name. It says Cebu on here, oh. as in this t-shirt is for me. Uh. Okay, so this is t-shirt number two. It looks like just a normal, you know, gray tee. Shame, Enzo looks like she wants to play and we left her here the whole day. Here we go, we've got a gray tee with a big new balance logo and name. This is this feels very like gym vibes. I'll definitely wear this to the gym. Uh, it looks very, very comfortable. And uh, it is also a size uh, medium. It doesn't have anything in the back. Everything is in the front. Very good quality as usual. That's That's just new balance for you, I guess. Got another white tee. If you've watched a couple of my videos, you would have maybe noticed that uh, I have a blue t-shirt that is exactly like this. It's literally a copy. Do you see, babe? It's the same tee. Oh, that one is so nice. It would be so nice. The reason I got the blue one is because I saw they were sending me this one and I wanted variations of the two. So, uh, yeah, I have um, this one. I have this in blue also. I've been wearing it quite a bit. And so I'm excited to switch it up with this one too. I think that's it on the t-shirts. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got two hoodies. By we, I mean me, Yolanda. Me. She keeps going, ooh, every time I pull something out. I have two hoodies. Two. Me. Oh, this is a large. Both of them oh. are larges. <laughs> I think George might have taken my ones, but we'll see. Uh, should I take them out? I'll take them out. Yeah, this is gonna be very oversized. For the ladies. With leggings. Oh, with leggings. I'm not gonna wear this with leggings. What do you mean? I mean. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same as that t-shirt that I showed you. Gray, New Balance, hoodie, uh, the back, nothing on the back. It's actually not as big as I thought. I think that's why they gave me a large because their sizes when it comes to hoodies are a bit smaller than their t-shirt. So that's the one hoodie. This is my second hoodie. I think I have like eight, eight New Balance hoodies at this point. This is another one, it's basically the same thing, I think just in uh, black. Yeah, nothing in the back. Just the plain, good quality, New Balance hoodie. Can't wait to wear this. Probably not uh, now in the spring, summertime, maybe in the evenings, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to have all these, wow. Okay, then we are not done with New Balance. 
they're still just a little bit more and by a little bit more i'm talking about shoes this is the first pair of shoes that uh, i got these are the 1906 r's they are beautiful this color is spectacular um i'm gonna try and be very very careful because the last time i got a pair of new balances that looked similar to these i decided to wear them to what happened december last year babe what is it called hey, hey neighbor i wore them to hey neighbor and i ruined them in one weekend and i haven't worn them since so i'm very happy that uh, i've got this pair this is oh this is a stunning shoe i think this just jumped into like top five shoes that i own without a doubt look at that sole dude like look at that oh bro i love my job dog i love my job okay this is another pair uh nine and a half oh i'm in i'm in nine and a half when it comes to the balance oh. this is right now my favorite shoe that i have without a doubt the best best shoe that i have this is the u that was the r this is the u Come on guys, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Oh. Oh man. The, yeah, without a doubt, this is the best sneaker that I, I currently own. I haven't looked at the last one. I'm about to open it now, but I am 90% sure that these are the best sneakers that I own right now. The best looking sneakers. So those ones, sneaker pair number two. These are the third ones, running ones. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 990s. Yes, ma'am. Oh, a nice gray pair. Where are the... Oh, they're in there, the lace. I was looking for the laces. Uh, these are the 990s, also an absolutely delicious shoe. Uh, shout out to New Balance, man. They always sort George and I out so well. They make, us sh they make sure that we are dressed impeccably and uh, this season is going to be no different so yeah shout out new balance if anybody from balance is watching this you guys are amazing new running shoes i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna say i'll split between them babe i'll wear these ones and i'll i'll wear the other running shoes all right, those are the shoes and the clothes from New Balance. Now I'm going to show you what I bought at uh, Comic-Con. I did not buy it with my own money. There was a segment for our show where they gave George and I each a thousand rand and they said, go and spend it and come back and show us what you can get at Comic-Con for a thousand rand. So, and then after they said, we can keep it. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for a thousand rand at Comic-Con. If you know me, you know just how much I love art and back in my day i i used to draw and i actually think i was pretty good right now i'd be horrible but back in the day i was cooking and my main uh, medium was pencil i really really loved drawing with pencil not painting no colors nothing just pencil and so when this caught my eye instantly i i just had to get it it is a pokemon drawing come on guys don't be a hater Look at that. Yes, I'm turning 30 in a couple of days. That doesn't matter. I still love Pokemon. I, I love me some Pokemon. And even more, I love a good pencil drawing. I think it's one of the most beautiful uh, mediums you can use. So I got a pencil drawing from the art side. I didn't go as crazy as I usually do when it comes to the art this year. But I had to make sure I get something because I do get something every year another thing i got is this manchester united record breakers official 2025 calendar so you don't need to see inside but basically the back is just uh, a couple of record breakers from manchester united uh, marcus rashford top active goal scorer um, david de gea doesn't play with us anymore oh but it's past and present david de gea most clean sheets uh, Sir Bobby Charlton, most league goals. So every year has someone. So I wonder what December is. But anyway, it's for next year. So I get to put it away for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I got a calendar, which I will probably put like on my desk or on the wall or something. Um, yeah, really excited about that. Man any Manchester United merch, just, just give it to me. My friends probably know this better than anyone else, but I am a massive Harry Potter fan. And since we moved to a new house, this caught my eye and so I, I had to get it. It is a mat that says 
I got an Aloha Mora mat, uh, which I'm gonna put in the front. If you don't know what um, Aloha Mora is, it is the spell that unlocks locks. So if you get to a lock and you don't have the key, you just go Aloha Mora and it opens. And so I got one, which is a bit counterintuitive because I live in South Africa. I do not want anyone to Aloha Mora my house or be a Gwicha at my house. But you know, such, such is stuff when you when you love Harry Potter. I'm literally playing the Harry Potter game right now for the third time, second or third, third time. Um, and so that's why this mat caught my, my eye. And so, yeah, you know, if you ever rock up to a house and you see this mat, uh, good chance it's mine. Last but not least, before I open this, I would uh, greatly ask that uh, you withhold your judgment, okay? I know that we recently just saw that I got one of these, but once again, when I saw it there, I had to, I had to get it. How do I open this? I had to get it. What do you think it is? What do you think this is? Just take a wild guess. I, it is, it's a mug. It's a mug, I got another mug, okay? It's a mug that says, gamers don't sleep, they respawn. Gamers don't sleep, they respawn. If you're not a gamer, you might not understand, but gamers don't sleep. They respawn. I got another mug. I don't think we have the cupboard space, but uh, we'll find it. That is everything that I got from Comic-Con and that I got from, um, what is this called? New Balance. And yeah, I'm excited to wear everything, try everything out. I'm gonna put the mat by the door now. And yeah, just the end of the rest of the day. Like I said, Manchester United is playing in an hour or so. And hopefully I'm not gonna be sad but uh, I don't think anything could ruin my mood after opening all these packages. I will see you guys on another day. I hope you're smiling. You should be smiling because I just got all this stuff. So you better be happy for me. Good morning, my beautiful friends. I am currently in the office. I just uh, arrived like uh, a second ago. They're actually texting me to ask me where I am. I'm here, I'm in the parking lot. Uh, today is a media day for my TV show, VS Gaming Weekly. George is arriving in about an hour because he has YFM uh, first in the mornings. But uh, yeah, we're having a media day. It's not like actually shooting uh, episodes for the show. It's like where we're gonna shoot all the promos that are gonna go out to like SABC and social media and stuff like that. We usually do that before we start shooting the actual season. But um, I'm excited, I'm excited to be back. We haven't been back here in the studio for one year. I'm gonna see all the people, all the new people, uh, all the old people. I'm really excited to see all um, my friends and the production crew and everyone. So uh, yeah, let's go inside. Uh, half of the time that you spend shooting a TV show is just waiting. It's pretty much waiting for your turn. So that's what we're doing now. We are back in our changing room. By me, by we, I mean Wasabi also is over there. Mm -hmm. He's uh, working yes. as we always are, doing something somewhere. I just uploaded a video also. Um, do you know what I realized, guys? When I started this video, yeah, 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 here we go. When I started shooting this video, I said to you guys that I have a surprise at the end of the video. But I'm realizing that the title of this video is probably gonna give it away. So, I think it's time that we talk about it. Uh, yes, we are going overseas. We are today, literally today, if you're watching this vlog on the day that we post it, we are going overseas. And uh, I'm gonna let it be you to decide where you think we're going. But uh, yeah, tonight is our flight if you're watching this after uh, the day that it's posted, then we have probably already arrived. We will not be posting any vlogs while we are there. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. That's where most of the content will be. 
while I am overseas. I'm so excited for a little vacation, a little birthday thing. We are going for Yolanda's birthday. So also follow her on Instagram and TikTok and you'll see all the content. It actually will probably be more her than me posting on her pages because I'm tired. I will be vlogging while we are there, but all the vlogs are only going to be uploaded when we come back. So don't expect them over the next little while while we are away. But like I said, TikTok, Instagram, there we will be uploading every single day while we are away. So don't ask me, Sibyl, where are you? Where's the next video? Go watch the videos on TikTok and on Instagram. Otherwise, yeah, we're chilling. It's not even lunchtime yet. Uh, we're just kind of sitting around waiting. Uh, this year we have new presenters on the show uh, and contributors so they will be filming a lot of stuff that's outside the studio um george and i will mostly be concentrating on in studio stuff but um it's still crazy four seasons down and we are still well three seasons down we're in the fourth season now remember when i told you guys i was scared that we weren't going to get season two look now. look now season four two years down the line we are on season four and who knows maybe five six seven We'll leave it up to the universe, but uh, yeah, George and I are just gonna relax now until we get summoned again. What up friends, it is a Sunday morning in the Mbanza household. We are on our way to uh, In The City, which is basically when the artists who go to Rocking The Daisies in Cape Town also come perform in Joburg. The artist that we are most excited for is Black. I am over the moon. I literally started watching, not watching, listening to Black right after he was at Rocking The Daisies. I think it was maybe 2018. Um, and I only started listening to him after Rocking the Daisies. Literally because he was performing at Rocking the Daisies, I was like, let me listen to that artist that, that was at Rocking the Daisies a few weeks ago. I listened and I was so mad at myself for missing it. And I told myself, one day I will go to a black concert. Luckily, black came to me. I did not go, I have to go overseas to, to go and watch him. Um, yeah, come, come, come show them your fit. Come show them your fit, babe. Oh my goodness that's my wife y'all almost that's my wife y'all wow babe i do look babe. you look scrumptious i decided to obviously you know me i whatever she wears i will try and find something in my cupboard that matches no nope, nobody babe. cares thank you babe that's very sweet of you but you are the moment we are so excited when we started uh dating one of the artists that we would like talk about and tell about our love for was black and so this is a massive milestone that we're gonna go see that artist that artist that brought us together why in Blitang um Ow. why in Blitang um she would send me black songs and be like have you listened to this one have you listened to this one <laughs> Deny it, Yolanda. Deny <laughs> it. Yeah, I thought so. So yeah, we're going to Black. Uh, we won't be able to take you guys because you're not allowed to take professional cameras inside, but we will take our phones. So let's see what footage we get. Otherwise, I'm going to see you tomorrow because I do have work in the morning. Manchester United, uh, I completely forgot that we have a game because I've been so busy. I must check what the score is. Otherwise, you're ready to go. I'm ready. We're meeting Sasha and George there. Uh, we are probably going to get there first because because it's Sasha and George, so. What up, friends? We are in the car, uh, two minutes away from the venue. We drove close here and we went to a um, uh, petrol station close by, just so we could get food. We have pies, uh, we have Red Bulls for energy. And the reason we're doing this is because it's very expensive to eat in, at a concert, at a festival, anything like that. I'm not paying 
uh, 75 rand for a red bull or i don't know 200 rand for the most like minimal meal that you'll ever have uh, and so that's why we're eating outside literally we're like right outside the venue but um this is where we eat while we're waiting for george and sasha also so when we're in there no reason to go look for any drinks we're not drinking tonight are we drinking tonight you say you say she said to me no we're not drinking tonight in solidarity with me because i have to go to work tomorrow the golden circle tickets were atrocious so uh yeah we're definitely not spending any more money i'm gonna put my phone away because we are at a petrol station and uh, hopefully we'll see you inside the venue my friends it is the day after uh, in the city which was amazing i cannot believe that i got to see black live and snow allegra and i listened to loiso for the first time i'm not a not like not a fan but i just haven't ever listened to loiso properly and his voice is incredible but black wow bucket list item ticked off my list i i I can't believe that I finally got to see him. That's something ticked off my bucket list. Anyway, today is a full day of work. We're shooting the first episode and the second episode of VS Gaming Weekly, our TV show, season four. I'm so excited. I, I, I'm elated that we're on season four. Um, it brings me so much joy that I've had a show that just keeps on going. Five, six, seven, who knows? Fingers crossed. Okay, let's go to work. Um, George is probably gonna get there first, so I, I need to be very quick. All right, friends, we just shot the first episode for today. We have one more episode to go and it is very, very late, at least for us. So, yo, George, we're probably going to be here till five, six today, six, maybe yeah, even yeah. potentially. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's lunchtime now. And you guys know if you've been here for a while that the lunches are pretty big. I did not dish up too much today because I need to stay awake. So I'll just show you what they've made us for lunch today. We have a meatball here, we have chicken, we have rice with a little bit of gravy and a little bit of salad over here. Uh, my salad's a bit dry because I forgot to take the salad dressing but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. And then they just got us some fruits and veg there and not veg, my goodness, fruits and uh, some juice here. But this is stony, this is stony because I need that sugar. George is already inside, he's having the time of his life. You're in a bit.
What up, homies? I'm sorry about the bad light, but uh, the day is finally done. It is 7 p.m. and um, it's now time to go home. I am exhausted. I am stressed. I have like two days of work before we have to fly. And um, I feel like I've left out so much. I've left so much stuff that I need to do between now and when Yolanda and I are leaving. My anxiety is peaking right now. And also I feel like I'm starting to get sick, but I think it has more to do with uh, a lack of sleep than actually being sick. So traveling internationally stresses me out so much because my job doesn't allow for me to just leave. In a, in a matter of speaking, it does. Like I can, I don't have to ask anybody for leave, but like if a brand wants to work with me and they wanna pay me, you know, that thing that pays my rent and I'm not here to do that, it always kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety that I might lose the thing that, you know, helps me keep my lights on. But I'm also excited to make travel content. I haven't done it in so long. Can I actually be honest with you? Can I tell you why I think I'm a little bit stressed? The last time I traveled, remember I went to Thailand in 2020. When I came back, it was COVID. I literally came back and I think I came back the same time as that Italian family or that family that came from Italy and brought COVID to to South Africa and then after that I had no work I had no work for months and um, I think Dinekala of like traveling that's all I remember the last time I remember traveling I remember being broke after traveling and so I think I have that stress right now even though there's no COVID like you know there's not going to be a, a completely out of nowhere uh, it was on a pandemic but still, I think that anxiety, like my nervous system is shot over traveling, coming home and then having no work. And now I feel like because I'm going to be away for a little while, that that's what I'm going to miss out on. Anxiety is crazy, guys. Anyway, let me go home. I miss my fiance. Uh, I cannot wait to see her. Guys, after a long day's work, there is absolutely nothing better than coming home to the love of your life, having cooked you a nice warm meal. But I do have one thing to complain about. Just one thing. Why does she have all the lights on? Why are all the lights? Do you see that? Why? Why? Oh, it's so bright. Why are all the lights on, guys? Let's discuss this. Because this is what a house is supposed to look like. You see this? This looks like a hospital. Not to say para. We look like we're in para. Okay? This is what a house is supposed to look like in the evenings. See? Some warm light. Okay? And then we turn off. I forgot where the lights are in this house. This is what a house is, is supposed to be like. Yes, it's horrible for the vlog, but this is not about me or you in this instant. It's about the energy in the household. And my fiance, my fiance loves a Charlotte Matmaike. I do not, okay? I love a nice warm light. It must be soft in the evenings. My fiance, Hospital or nothing. And so do you know what that means? Hospital. Because I will not impose my light things in this house. Good morning, my friends. It is the morning before we fly off. As you can see, I'm trying to get my neck ready, trying to get my pillow all fluffed up. My uh, Wonderful fiance got us these. I have this one. She has another one. She's just not wearing it because she's out of here. She's going to do some more um, like prep for our trip. Uh, what do you have already? Lashes? I have my lashes. Okay, lashes and done. Nails. And then let's see. Let's see the nails close up. Ooh, this is nice. They're so nice. I really like They're them. really nice. And, and then you got lashes, your lashes done. And the brows. Mm hmm okay brow girl mm -hmm. and now where are you off to and now i'm gonna go do my braids mm -hmm. okay what kind of braids are you getting i'm getting the goddess braids see okay girl are you excited i'm very excited ah! we're going tomorrow okay let me end off this vlog guys thank you very much for watching this vlog it was a long one i've edited most of it just not this ending so i know that it's already over 40 minutes long which is just wild but i'm enjoying making them so so much this will be the last vlog for about two three weeks um until we've come back and we're calm and we're back into the flow of things and i have time and energy to edit so uh yeah follow us on tiktok follow us on instagram to keep up to date we will be uploading all the time every day on instagram and tiktok 
uh, but not on YouTube. So, yeah, don't don't expect anything on YouTube. Please don't DM me saying, Simo, where's the vlog? Where's the vlog? We are away. We are traveling, guys. There's no vlogs. But like I said, Instagram, TikTok, I'll put our handles uh, in the description of uh, this video. And then, yeah, you can follow us there to keep up to date. I love you guys so much. I can't wait for you guys to see this trip. I can't wait to go on this trip. Feel free to comment where you think we are going. Should I give them a clue? Didn't you say it? No, I didn't say it. Did you say it? No, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I'll give you a clue. We are going to Asia. I've been to Asia uh, one or two times, um, but I've never been to this specific country. So I am really, really excited. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Have an amazing October. I love you with all my heart.